I'm Vaughn Biggs and let's queer up health. Could Gilead once a year HIV prevention shot finally change the future forever? Gilead Sciences announced plans to begin phase three testing for a yearly HIV prevention shot. If effective, it could be the closest to an HIV vaccine yet. The drug, lenacaprevir, has already shown success as a six month HIV prevention option. Gilead aims to file for approval for the six month regimen earlier this year Trials for the once-a-year formulation are set to begin in 2025, targeting a late 2027 for filing. The advancement promises a major step in reducing the global HIV infection rate. Many hope the yearly shot will simplify prevention and change lives in significant ways. You know, we, we, I remember reporting this story when it was announced just about the six month, but to continue to see the advancements to where we're looking at longer and longer yeah. injection is, um, solutions. I'm excited to see also where that's going to do for HIV treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm hopeful that this, you know, continues to uh, prove that and that they, it's handled on both sides versus just prevention. Because and I, th I think one of the important things to, to note is that as much as HIV still re remains an issue here in the United States, worldwide, the difference this will make where it yeah. is hard to get clean water in certain, certain parts right. of the world where the access to that healthcare is not available. Being able to get a shot once a year, you know, through mobile units, whatever that goes into a town, right. that's that's a game changer right. to keep people healthy and alive. And the same thing would hold true here in underprivileged, right. you know, yeah. if you go down towards, um, I'm sorry, you can say? Okay. No, you finished, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, you go down to, to Miami um, and they have the, the IDEA program through the University right. of Miami, and that works with people that live under the bridges that have forgotten you know, and they're still sharing needles, and the biggest thing is the transfer of it. And then they give medication, and then it gets, quote-unquote, stolen. Right. You know, and you run into this whole thing, how do you protect it? And how much do you give them, and do they have to keep coming back? This ends all of that right. by saying, okay, we took care of this for a year, and right. they can come back in a year. Yeah. Yeah. It, access is a good thing that you're bringing up, Glenn, because, yeah. you know, this has been a really wonderful breakthrough, and apparently it might cost as little as $40 a year to make this, wow. but the the potential cost is going to be forty to forty four thousand dollars. I don't see health insurers okaying that in the United States. I don't know who's going to actually have access if we don't get this price under control. Now, of course, sometimes insurers start with a very crazy price and it gets more negotiated. But if we don't actually make this an affordable drug, it's going to be really hard to get it. So to, I can to tell you that, like, I take thirteen pills a, a, a night. And one of the pills is over $2,000 and I take it, I have to get it refilled every 90 days. Yeah. So if you take that and you add one or two of the other drugs I'm on that are just as high, you're at that $44,000 by the end of the year. So you really, in many ways, it's a cost savings. And of course, overseas, it's going to be completely different, just like it was here with all the other HIV drugs. It was unapproachable for a regular person to be able to purchase them. But if you went overseas, they were basically giving them away, uh, giving them away for free because it was about national security. Mm -hmm. You know, as countries fall because their leadership gets sick, you know, there's an instability that happens as a result of it. And, you know, we, we look at it more as an LGBT thing, or at least it was considered that here. But around the rest of the world, when you get into right, Southern right. Africa and stuff like that, those, those were, were devastated right. and, you know, countries fall because leadership dies you know i mean it's it's that simple right. this so, is a game changer i hear i just feel like for preventative purposes so like is, is is medicaid going to provide this where it's cheaper to give them prep for a year even though it's much harder to get them to take prep because it's a daily pill like do you think that they're going to give spend the 40,000 on this or would they do i think prep is what i think if you look at the year? cost of putting someone in the hospital and von you yeah. probably could speak to right. this you know what it costs to spend a weekend in the hospital if if this is a much cheaper, long, long end game. Didn't Biden pass a sicker. law though uh, for a lower rate of medications recently? But not on. It was on specific drugs. Right. Oh, okay. It was so like uh, if you're a diabetic, it, it capped it. It like was a forty dollars. Right, but they did it on. They've they done it on prep things. too because yeah. the, you know technically there was only one available that was a generic, and there's people that can't take that. So right. that law obviously changes that so that yeah. there are more options available. And I think when we look at the world, like you talked about the worldwide view, and you look at the areas in uh, South Africa where, you know, it was, it's a huge issue, people won't, like women or anything like that, where they're doing studies for a lot of these th to happen, they'll go get the medication, but guess what? They're throwing it away before they get home because they don't want 
their husbands yeah. or anybody to find out about it. Stigma. Mm-hmm. Now this is a, an injection and you're done for a year. Yeah. And right. you can get it at a Walgreens so you're not getting into going into something that's marked as an HIV van right. or into a, you know, HIV service organization. Right. You know? Yep. So, and just to kind of, you know, to trace, like we started with the, the AIDS cocktail and then we eventually right. got to like daily prep. And yep. now uh, there is a, there is, um, a once a month shot now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now a once a year shot is, looks mm-hmm. like it's going to come out. Imagine what we could have done had we been allowed to start that research years 20 years ago. before. Right. 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 I, I mean, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a tragedy it's like that it took us so long. Yeah. Look how long is it Reagan to act, you know, like yeah. everything snowballs and has a domino effect by everyone's decisions. Yeah. Well, that is a big LGBTQ story for today. There's no other queer nonprofit media platform like this in the entire world. Support our LGBTQ stories by subscribing and sharing Queer News Tonight.